So why are you here? Why are you watching this video about killing gophers and killing moles? Um, I know that uh, for me, I've watched a lot of videos on how to get these guys. And uh, I've tried I've tried all kinds of stuff. I've, I've, uh, I've tried these and it didn't work. I've watched multiple videos on how to set this thing up. Dig it out, put it here, do that. You know, put some but peanut butter here. Don't put peanut butter there. Nothing worked. This didn't get anything. This one, another failure. Well, actually, not 100% true. Um, I did get a mole with this. Not a gopher, but I got moles um, when I had a mole problem up in uh, Eugene. But um, this will work when you push the, the tunnel down, you put, the, put it in and you set it correctly. These have worked. Um, but not for my gophers. Like, the, the gophers are tearing up my field out here. They're going nuts. And uh, that didn't work at all. And this hasn't worked either for gophers. It probably would work for moles. And you need to know the difference when you're going after them because there's a big difference. So um, one other thing I did was I went down and got road flares. I saw a thing, oh, just take road flares. You light them, you put them down the hole. I did that. I even pumped like I used a fan uh, or used my, my shop back on the reverse air. So it was pushing air out, pushed the smoke down the hole. And there was smoke coming out all over the yard. And right? And, uh, and I'm not even kidding you, like, um, they would shove the ashes in the last little part that didn't burn up out on the, uh, and, and found this. So, so this didn't work either. It may, it may have worked. I don't know. There was no evidence. So, so what have I done? Um, well, I went to the extreme and I, and I made myself a little baby cannon. This is a little mole killer. Right? This is a gopher killer right here. So what this is, is it's basically just a pipe. I welded on uh, a cap on it. I drilled a hole in it. So basically, it's just a little 17th, 16th century cannon. A little mini version. So here's how this works. is uh, I take one of these. Get that out of there. This is a... Uh, rocket a rocket igniter for your little kids your little toy rockets and i put that inside of here and i hot glue that i you know i glue it in there and then uh put a little of this in there pour a little of that in there right put a little cotton swab or something down a little piece of cardboard pour some bb's in there and then i cap it off with a hot glue gun Right here, I'll cap it off, and I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the final version when I'm done with it. And then what I do, I gotta this is my last one. I gotta protect it. I gotta because I'm gonna be building my last one here. Get this out of here so I don't blow myself up. Um, then I make a trigger system where the uh, when the when the gopher starts to push dirt against the trigger system, this blasts and I and. Uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you, like, uh, I, I, I've probably gotten over in 20 gophers at this point. You know, I started this late last year. Um, the gophers are back now. I've already gotten three this week, or in this, this last couple of days I've been doing this. But I had one more. I was gonna build it. I thought I'd put out a little video here how to blow yourself up, um, you know, while you're trying to get your, your gophers. So probably not the safest technique. Um, so this isn't probably for your average person to, uh, to go ahead and attempt. So I would not attempt this if I was you. That's my disclaimer. So that, but uh, but yeah, this is it's amazing. I'll show you some some uh, some videos here uh, of what what kind of happens. Um, but if you you know for me, um, you know animals and kids. My kids are grown. They're not going to go out and mess with this. I've already taught them that. But uh, for animals, you gotta when you set this, you want to you want to cover it up so that your dog or your cat or whatever doesn't get mess with it and get hurt. Um, but uh, this has been d deadly. Like it's just it's crushed it. So, anyway, with that, let's uh, let's build ourselves a little mini cannon. Probably breaking some rules and breaking some laws, but um, it is what it is. All right, I'm going to attempt to draw you a picture of what we're doing here. This is the schematic that I came up with. It's very professional, and I think you'll appreciate it. So first, let me start off with the cannon part. So this is going to be a cross-cut view of the cannon. 
right? A little hole right there. So, inside the cannon goes the fuse. I got that. That's the fuse. And what you do is you're going to fill it up with gunpowder or black powder. You're going to put in some sort of fodder. I use a couple pieces of cardboard. I'm going to drop in some BBs. And then I'm going to pour hot glue right here. And that's going to create your own little shotgun shell or your own little mini cannon. So now we have to build the platform. The platform is nothing more than a piece of cardboard. All right? Now we got to set up our tripwire system or our fuse or our trigger, whatever you want to call it. So I, the, the latest one I'm using is a, uh, it's a, it's a looped wire. That wire comes down underneath and then connects to one side. The other part is the trigger is a wire that goes through the loop and comes out and now we need to hook up a power source. So these two wires go up to a little 9 volt battery. So if you can understand what's going to happen here is and I'll do a little demonstration here like this is underground right? Here's the gopher hole. Okay. So this is all set up underground. So here's your trigger system. Here comes your little gopher. Right? He comes along. He's going to kick some dirt up. It's going to hit your trigger system. Your triggers, your wires are going to connect, which is going to complete the circuit. So you're going to set that off. That's going to go boom and put a little hole inside of your gopher. Now I hope that right there makes sense. Now I'm going to show you a couple of videos of the test and what it looks like when it blows up and, uh, and how to build it. And hopefully you can be a nice observer of how I kill my gophers because if you go out and you do this yourself, I'm telling you, you shouldn't do it. Good luck with that. So anyways, like I said, you're going to take this, right? You gotta clean that hole out because it's got some dirt in it. Because when it when it blasts, it really kind of drives itself into the side. So you don't want any dirt in there because you want your glue to be able to kind of grab onto something. Makes sense, right? Okay. All right. So let me get this right here. My hot glue gun, a nice little dobby glue on there. Get that nice, nicely in there. And I like to add a lot of hot glue around the sides. The hot glue's very, very, very handy here. Okay. Take a little pair of mini, mini pliers here create just a little loop on that do the same thing on that one and that'll make it a little easier to put your um, put your wires on later on all right so you probably can't see that um, but now that's all glued on there nice and it's not going anywhere so now we need to load it so let's load this baby up Okay, get my little funnel. I, I like to use just about a capful. It's probably three times as much as you need, but here's my theory is if they set this off and they don't get directly hit, the blast alone is going to take them out. Okay, take this off. Okay, give that a couple of taps, get everything all nice and tight down in there okay so now I just take a little piece of cardboard do, do, do. Do, do. Do. Okay. there we 
go. There. Okay. So now, put that back on there. Get myself some BBs. All right. So, then take my hot glue gun, which I put down here, not so good. Just pour the hot glue in there. There we go. So now that's built. We'll let that sit over here and cool down. So here's the trigger system. I'm, I'm building a different trigger system than you'll see in some of the other videos. Um, and I'll do a schematic. I'll kind of draw it out for you uh, as far as what I've done. But um, this is a new one I'm testing. I'm going to see how it works. Um, I've done some other ones with pressure, uh, pressure plates and um, another one where they push on it and they've worked. They've all worked. So um, I'll give you an example here. Oops. This will make more sense when you see how it's all wired up, but I did one where there's like pressure plates like this, so when it pushed on it and the wires touched on the cardboard on the inside, it would go off. I did another one where it's flat like this, and they push down on it, it goes off. And, and it's probably, I'd say probably in the 90 percentile um, effective, you know. But there's still always times when they're when the thing's throwing its dirt and that it gets just a little bit of dirt between and then the pressure plate doesn't work so the pressure plate has failed um occasionally but most of the time it's worked pretty good so now i'm trying something different i'm taking a hard wire and i'm putting a hard wire like so and then i'm putting a loop around it a very small loop and um it's i think it's going to be the the fail safe way to go where no matter what the um, gopher does, it's going to somehow make contact and set it off. Um, I have one set right now, so we might even we might even hear a boom here while we're working on this one, um, which would be kind of funny. Um, it's out there in the chicken coop, but uh, I got to get this wire all stripped. Clip that off there. Now some people, some people out there are going to be like, well, that's kind of extreme. Well, you don't have gophers tearing up your yard, so you're not worried about it. Or you're going to hire somebody to deal with it, which probably the recommended thing to do, um, unless you're more inventive and you enjoy doing this kind of thing. Um, for me, this is more fun than anything else, but uh, it has been satisfying to... Um, figure out my own way to get all these gophers. So let me strip that off. I got another wire here. I already got a loop up built on that one. That was for something else, but okay. So another wire. Don't cut the green wire. Okay. Um, we're going to. So let me just uh, demonstrate here. Second to cool down. Okay. Now, you know, I'm gonna put the put the loop off to a side here, a little lower down, something like that, right there. All right. Okay. Oop, get in there. 
So we'll just hold this right here for a second. Get that all nice and glued on so. Right? Get myself a little electrical tape. Put that on there. Okay. Yeah. So you can see, hopefully you can see, um, that wire is not touching that wire. And it's just, it's barely, what's it going to take? It's going to take a little bit of breath, you know. But we'll set that up, you know, that'll be nice and secure, um, as secure as you're going to get it. Anyways, it's... There we go. Come on. So you can kind of manipulate the bit of wire. So anyways, there you go. No touchy. So um, once that's all set up in the hole, it's not going to take much for that for that to, uh, to make contact and, and get them. All righty. All righty. Next up. So now we got our cannon, right? Probably not necessary, but I find it helpful. There. So now I take my cannon. wire is kind of long it doesn't need to be that long so okay so just take that wire right there come on now come on get in there gotta do it nice for the camera there we go there easy peasy okay Turn that away in case you get an accidental blast. Never had it happen. You never know. Get this nice and... There we go. Alright. So we got that one on there. It's nice. Get my glue gun out of here. We don't need that right now. Take my little pliers. Create another loop on there. So... What have we done? We have made a cannon. Alright. This is uh, one that already blew up. So... Clip the wires off. Okay. So here's what we got. Got a nice long wire. Right? Got a nice long wire. It's probably, I don't know, six feet, five, six feet. And this is where the uh, the battery goes to be able to charge and set that off. So at the other end, down here. Let's release hook up. So, hopefully you're understanding what's going on here. Like I said, for those those of you who don't like to play with wires and do this kind of stuff, this is not for you. This is for the other men on YouTube who enjoy taking it a step further. So. 
I'll tell you what, if you want to save these animals, come out in my yard and trap them for free. Otherwise, this is they're going to be their fate. Okay. I just, I solder everything together because you know what? I just, it's too much work to, you know, go through all this and then not have it not work. Um, let me unplug everything here. Have it not work because uh, you want to take two, take two more seconds and solder it off and make it all nice and strong. So, all right, with my scissors now, shabam, shaboom. Down like so, put that on. So, another one. I like to cover everything up, protect it from the, the old elements. Okay, boom. And last but not least, this little wire here. So here we are, right? We got our trigger, and hopefully you can see that those two wires are not touching, but it's not gonna, like I said, it's, it's gonna take just very little bit to get that to go boom. You know, we got our long wire. We don't have a battery hooked up uh, for obvious reasons. I never hook up the battery until it's all set underneath the ground uh, and uh, everyone's safe, and then we set the trap. And uh, I'll demonstrate that. I'll show you on video here how to do that, uh, but pretty simple. But uh, this will never, ever pass any kind of safety inspection, so it's never going to be on market. But it's the damn best killer out there. And um, you know when it goes off, because you're going to hear it. And so will your neighbors, if you have some. But uh, my neighbors are 10 acres away, so they barely hear it. Let's go kill a gopher. All right, this is my, uh, my homemade poker. What I use this for is to try and figure out where the tunnel, which direction tunnel is. Here's some new diggings here. These look like they're probably less than a day old. So um, you poke around. What I do is I poke around and then there, and I can feel the tunnel. So the tunnel looks like it's going off in this direction. Anyways, I'll dig this out uh, and then I'll set up my, my tunnel. All right, so I got this uh, all dug out. I've got my, you can see nothing's touching. So put that right here, just like that. Okay. Now I'll take a brick. I'll cover that up carefully. Still want some air to be able to get down in there so that uh, it'll attract them over here. Set my wire up over here. And I set this up over it so that, uh, but like I said, I still want some air to be able to get there so my dogs can't get to it. I got small dogs, so they can't really get to this. All right. And I always put these on. Ear protection. We just had one go off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hook this one up. There we go. Well, let's go look at our kill. Yep. All right. So literally, 
literally while uh here he can get me literally while um we were over here setting the other one up uh this one went off right here uh, so here's my little first cannon right here parts this one probably blew him pretty far back in the hole Let's see if I can get him I feel him right there there's no way that just went off Oh, here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Got him. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, you got He's got a little BB in him somewhere right there. But the uh, the blast alone would have gotten him. That's some satisfaction for all you gopher haters out there. God bless you. All right. We were just inside playing cards. What do we hear? The boom, the boom of death. <laughs> Is the red light on, Daddy? I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Oh, here's the cannon. I need my big long pokey stick to get him out. You see him? Well, I can't, I don't see him. But anyways, just went off very effectively, I would say. All right, here we go. There he is, another dead mole. <laughs> we put him down in his own little grave. Okay, the dirt on top of there, we're all good. Ah.